All right, three, two, one. Hey, this is Grandpa Frank here. And uh, I'm just gonna add, this is a series that I started on the uh, creation where I was comparing the book of Genesis uh, with the book of Jubilees. The book of Jubilees also confirms the story of the creation, but I wanna take another look at day number one and uh, particularly something that, that happens on the first day. In Genesis, the first day of creation, let there be light and there was light. And so light was formed or created on the first day. But in Jubilees, beyond just the, uh, the, the, the light, some, uh, the, the spirits were, were created as well. Let me read what it says right here. I'm reading from uh, Book of Jubilees, chapter two, and in verse two, for on the first day he created the heavens which are above and the earth and the waters and all the spirits which serve before him. Now he's gonna break all of this down into their different categories. The angels of the presence, the angels of sanctification, the angels of the spirit of fire, the angels of the spirit of the winds, the angels of the spirit of the clouds and of darkness and of snow and of hail and of hoarfrost, the angels of the voices and of the thunder and of the lightning, the angels of the spirits of cold and of heat and of winter and of spring and of autumn and of summer and of all the spirits of his creatures which are in the heavens and on the earth. And then it goes on from there, but the last part, all the spirits of his creatures, which are in the heavens and in the earth. So he, you know, we were a, a, a spirit being. I'm a spirit being, okay? I live in this flesh, because this is my earth suit. This is why I am here on earth. And that when the day comes, when I die, all that will remain is just this, just just my earth suit, okay? And my essence, the real me, will go to the great beyond, hopefully to heaven, okay? So this is interesting what it says right here. So all the spirits of his creatures, which are in the heavens and on the earth, so all, his, all the spirits, so every spirit that you know all, all all of us all of mankind everybody that 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 was born that is born and that will be born all our spirits were created on that first day okay so what happens is that the spirits who have not been born yet the the babies that are are, are to be born tomorrow and next week and next year and next in uh, next century and so forth you know they're still in heaven okay they're waiting for their turn to be born. And what I want to share is something that um, I had heard a number of years back. It's a Jewish uh, saying, I guess, or, or, or belief or teaching. Uh, I don't know how true it is, but I just thought this is interesting since I came across this passage here, is that we have this little piece right here, you know, on our upper lip, the lower nose, like a little... Uh, a crevice, a crest. And what I heard is that when it's your turn to be born, when it's your turn to be born, the angel will put their finger, you know, kind of like, shh, don't talk, put it right there. And what happens is all your memories of heaven are erased. You know, you, you lose all those memories and then your spirit goes down into your body, whether you're gonna be a boy baby or a girl baby, you know, that spirit goes down there and then you're born and then you live your life, okay? And you don't know anything, you know, you have no memory of, of what it was like to be in heaven before. And I thought that was interesting. And what, another thing that, that kind of ties this in is that there was a movie that I remember seeing years and years ago uh, called the bluebird it refers to the bluebird of happiness and it was uh, a Shirley Temple movie and I found out it was made in 1940 and somewhere I'll kind of put up the little poster of it in, in this video and I just wanted to share that you know no nothing fantastical here 
other than the fact that I think it's interesting. Well, first of all, you know, we do know angels exist because they are mentioned in the Bible. But here, more specifically, it gives them categories. So you see that there's different types of angels. So the angels of the presence refer to the, to the angels that are in the throne room of God himself. And they minister to him in his throne room. And then there are other angels that have specific tasks. So he mentions, you know, primarily it's not like the weather. There's, there's the angels for, for each of the seasons and the angels for different, uh, for the thunders and the winds and the lightnings and so forth. So when we see all of that nature, all of that, you know, natural events occurring, there are angels involved with that. And of course, you know, we have guardian angels, so we know that from Psalm 91, for he will set his angels, you know, to, to charge over you. So I think that's, so I just wanted to share that, and that's all. So, okay, so I'll talk to you next time.